Complex problems require us all to bring a variety of data science tools to the table. And the new SAS ArcGIS Bridge expands your repertoire of statistical analysis tools. Let's take a look at an example. This map shows voter turnout in the 2020 US presidential election, in which a historic proportion of voters turned out to vote. However, there are an increasing amount of targeted policies that according to the ACLU, have a disproportionate impact on voter participation and voting rights for people of color. One example is voter ID laws. This map now shows voter ID laws by state, ranging from no ID being required to vote, some form of ID being required, for example, a student ID or library card, and finally, a strict photo ID requirement law. Now, the assumption is that most people have the requisite photo ID, but the reality is that millions of Americans don't, and they are disproportionately low income, racial and ethnic minorities, the elderly, or people with disabilities and they may struggle with transportation costs or the time and money associated with this process of getting an ID. To start our exploration, we first want to ask, is the relationship between voter ID loss and voter turnout statistically significant? We are used to comparing relationships across numeric variables in ArcGIS. For example, a scatter plot comparing voter turnout and income. It becomes more challenging when we work with categorical variables. And like all data scientists, we must bring all the tools available to us to explore a complex topic like this. So in this case, SAS provides a series of tools that are better suited to help us answer this question. The SAS ArcGIS bridge comes with a table to SAS tool, which allows us to pass a layer in ArcGIS Pro and convert it to a format that can be used inside SAS. The SAS ArcGIS bridge also includes a way to get data from SAS into an ArcGIS ready format, integrating the two systems. And once our export is completed, we will now shift gears to a notebook inside ArcGIS Pro. From the notebook, we can now access the SAS LibRef table, which behaves very much like a pandas data frame. The SAS ArcGIS bridge also provides the SASPy Python library as part of ArcGIS Pro, no additional installs being required. And with this library, we can now invoke SAS procedures. One procedure called GLM is a simple but powerful tool that includes an adjustment for performing statistical tests of significance, including the use of categorical variables like voter ID laws versus voter turnout. We have written the code to execute that SAS procedure directly within ArcGIS Pro, and once executed, SAS provides a report with the results of our test. The results of the test are shown as a series of tables, and one of those tables includes p-values, all of which are fairly close to zero. In other words, there is a relationship between the stricter voter ID laws and lower voter turnout, and that relationship is indeed statistically significant. SAS also provides an interesting chart for this test to visualize the effect size, or how significant that relationship is. In this case, the association between decreases in voter turnout and more strict voter ID laws is very unlikely to be due to random chance. And with that answer, the analysis just begins, and you can continue investigating this complex topic within ArcGIS Pro. For example, you may consider additional factors, such as the disproportionate relationship between voter ID laws and voter turnout as we consider communities of color. Voter turnout is a complex topic, and this demonstration merely scratches the surface. But with the SAS ArcGIS bridge, domain experts can now integrate two powerful analytical systems to continue the analysis. SAS and ArcGIS. Thank you.